Hello there, good morning to you and welcome once more to our daily devotional for today, Tuesday, January the 26th. And this morning we'll be continuing in our topic that says like a child. Yesterday we looked at like a child part one, where we talked about loving like a child. This morning we'll be looking at the part two. Our Bible text will be taken from Genesis, um, sorry, Deuteronomy chapter 28. I'll quickly read, it's, it's going to cover from verse 3 to 13. But I'll be reading the first five verses. Blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of the ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy cane, and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be the basket and thy store. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest, and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thy enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out again thee one way and before and flee before thee in seven ways. And I'll quickly read verse 13, the last verse. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. If that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day to observe and to do them. A memory verse is taken from Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. And it says, But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Like a child. Last week, like I said earlier on, we talked about how a child loves. And today, our focus on the attribute of a child will be solely on trust and faith. Now, you would agree with me that for those of us that have children, when you promise a child something, the child has, when a parent promises the child that I'm going to do a particular thing for you, the child has complete and total trust. The child understands that the parent is the provider and will always meet their needs. Praise the Lord. We get to the point where we, the children, the children have no alternative. We, the, as, as children, we do not create alternatives. We do not look elsewhere to look for help because we understand. For example, a, a father telling a child, go to school, I will pay your fees. The child confidently goes because what? He knows that the father will pay his fees. How much more our heavenly father, which ha who has told us in Luke chapter 1 verse 37, he said that with God, nothing shall be impossible. So today we're looking at that trust of a child. How trustful, how dependent are you on God? Do you completely trust on God's word? We look at the Bible scripture where we read, in Deuteronomy 28 from verse 3 to 13. There are so many promises that God has given to us. And I want to trust that God has given you promises. God has given you, 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 you words. God has spoken some words to you at the beginning of this year. Do you trust God like a child? Do you, do you put your hope and trust in him completely? Or you are going somewhere else for an alternative? And that's why our memory verse said something. It said, but without faith, it is impossible to please God. When you begin to have other alternatives, it shows that you don't have faith in God. And that's why a lot of us have our miracles and our blessings hanging for us. Because when, we, when, when God says a thing to us, we do not put our trust in Him. We now begin to create a plan B for God. But I'm trying, I'm, what I'm coming to do this morning is to admonish you and say, have complete trust just like a child would have with their parents. Praise the Lord. I want to trust and bless God that God will give you the ability to trust on him completely, that you will build your faith in God in whatsoever you do in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. Do have a lovely day. I want to trust that you enjoyed today's teaching and um, I will urge you that you click on the like button, the bell button to subscribe so that you get more notifications of our wonderful devotion. God bless you.